AMD are back at it again with a whole new range of processors. Now they used to be the little guys doing good things for budget-minded consumers and gamers, but now they're taking the battle right up to Intel and they are genuinely winning it. In this video, I'll unpack the latest 2020 lineup of AMD processors that you're gonna find in the latest HP range of notebooks. Let's go. Now the commentary I hear from most salespeople is that AMD is a little bit like my favorite now defunct discount salvage warehouse, WA Salvage. And remember, low prices stop here at WA Salvage. We're not fancy, but we're cheap. Eh? Now I don't care if that clip only makes sense to those of us who grew up in WA in the 80s and 90s. No matter how much I knew AMD powered the Xbox and PlayStation, the stigma still stuck. Great value for money, but maybe not the most premium or highest performing products. For whatever reason, that was the consensus. Fun fact, AMD are once again the hardware vendor of choice for the next Xbox Series X and PS5. They're both using eight AMD Zen 2 cores for their CPU and custom AMD GPUs. AMD's transformation began when the incredible Lisa Su took over as their CEO from 2014. Honestly, go look her up. What she has done for PCs and the industry in the whole is absolutely incredible. Since then, AMD have gone from strength to strength and are doing what all chip makers should do, engineer great products and follow it up with a simple marketing message. Firstly, in 2020, the confusing range of A-series chipsets are going. Replaced by the simplified lineup of Athlon 3000 series chipsets. Athlon Silver is the two core, two thread option and Athlon Gold is the two core, four thread option. Now benchmarks and branding match up really nicely against the equivalent Intel Pentium Gold and Pentium Silver. However, tests show that Athlon Gold outperforms Pentium Gold by up to 90% in graphics performance and up to 39% in productivity. Now, if you're shopping devices with gold or silver from Intel or AMD, you're essentially shopping on price. These CPUs are great for everyday basic tasks, streaming, email, word processing, the usual. Now, you're gonna see these types of processors in HP 14 and HP 15 models. Now, let's move to the hero stuff, AMD's Ryzen 4000 series. This is using AMD's Zen 2 architecture. Follow it up with a simple marketing message. Regardless, Zen 2 on AMD's Ryzen 4000 series is the business. AMD expanded on the seven nanometer process they used in selected high-end third generation 3000 series desktop chips and brought that tech to mainstream Ryzen mobile processors in thin and light laptops. That's some incredible engineering. However, they also extended it past the traditional quad core, delivering both six and eight core versions this time around. In HP's new NVX360 lineup in both the 13 and 15 inch variants, users have the option of the Ryzen 7 4700U. This houses an incredible eight core, eight thread mobile CPU. So how does AMD's Ryzen compare to the latest offering from Intel's 10th gen? To the benchmarks. Now, instead of running these myself, I've reached out to AMD for their benchmark as I know their legal team will not let engineering do any funny business. Plus, the devices I have here are early marketing samples from the team over at HP, so they're not actually suitable for testing. I'm gonna start with the Ryzen 5 versus Intel's Core i5 in their 10th generation. You can see that single thread performance is mostly on par with the equivalent Intel mobile CPUs, with a slight edge to AMD using Cinebench test software. In multi-thread performance, however, there are huge wins to AMD and not by a slim margin, with AMD showcasing over 90% better performance in multi-thread performance on Cinebench. Now you can read my disclaimers below for the details, but it is just processor v processor here, guys. Sticking with Ryzen 5, in PC Mark 10, we see AMD with a double digit performance advantage over Intel in MS Office as well as overall performance. Stepping up the stack to Ryzen 7 showcases similar results. Slight advantages to AMD in single thread performance, but with scores up to twice as good, multi-thread performance shows a clear AMD win. What's really noticeable is the graphics score. Up against Iris Plus graphics, AMD's integrated Radeon graphics looks unbeatable. 
This means that 1080p gaming on your laptop won't always need a discrete graphics card, and depending on the title, this might be all you need. Zen 2 and 7 nanometer architecture aside, these impressive chips from AMD also employ AI to understand your applications and anticipate your next steps of your workflow in real time exactly what you're after in a thin and light laptop. It's clear that choosing an AMD Ryzen processor in your next laptop is a choice without compromise between performance and graphics. In 2020, AMD are bringing the big guns. More cores, better battery life, and better thermals. Plus, there are many of the latest premium products like the HP Envy 13 X360 I have here in front of me. Now, if you want to learn more about that device, check out my other video, dedicated to that brand new product from HP. Until next time, I'm Paul Berman. That was the AMD 2020 lineup of processors, and I'll see you next time.